Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about boats and streams formula. In our previous classes, we already discussed about speed and distance and uh, relative speed about train problems. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, first we are going to understand some terminology about boats, uh, about boats and streams. Let's take a water flow in this direction. Water is flowing in this direction. So we call it a stream of water. So the direction that is towards in the direction of a direction along the stream means along the water flow. We call it as downstream. Whenever they say downstream means we are moving along in the direction of water flow. That is what downstream means. If you are moving against to the water flow, then we call it as upstream. So these are the terms which we use in this uh, boats and streams formula. Now coming to the formula, if the speed of the boat in still water is u kilometers per hour. So if, if the water is still, it is not flowing in any direction. If the speed of the boat in the still water is u kilometers per hour and the speed of the stream is v kilometers per hour. Means water is flowing in one direction, the fl water flow with a speed of uh, v kilometers per hour. Then speed downstream so if the boat is moving in the direction of the water flow the water will helps in moving the boat wind very fast that's why speed downstream is equal to u plus v kilometers per hour u is the boat speed v is the water speed flow of the water speed upstream means we are going against to the water water will always uh, 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 reduce the speed of the boat because it is we are we are moving against to the water flow so speed upstream is given as u minus v kilometers per hour so these are the basic formula which we use mostly in our uh, examples speed downstream is given as u plus v speed upstream is given as u minus v coming to the next one if the speed downstream is a, a kilometers per hour and the speed upstream is b kilometers per hour then the speed in still water is equal to half a plus b kilometers per hour speed of the stream is given as half a minus b kilometers per hour so how we got this formula let's try to understand we have to understand the procedure don't remember this formula you have to understand the procedure how we got this that procedure will help you a lot in solving the bits this formula will not help you in solving the bits. Okay, given downstream is a kilometers per hour. If they have given you downstream means speed of the boat plus speed of the water. That is what we have discussed in the above formula. So assume that speed of boat is equal to x, speed of stream is what? y. So x plus y is equal to a and they have given upstream is b kilometers per hour x minus y is equal to b. From these two equations if you do the one plus first equation addition with the second equation 2x is equal to a plus b x is equal to half a plus b x means speed of the boat in still water. So the, this is the equation which we have shown here St speed of the boat in still water is half a plus b. Similarly, if you do the subtraction of these two equations, 1 minus 2, 2y is equal to a minus b, y is equal to half a minus b. This is y means speed of the stream. So the important point you have to understand from this formula, important point, upstream, downstream speeds are given. Then you can, uh, we can find speed of the boat and speed of the stream. Why we have saying that uh, this is the important point? because almost all the bits move around on these concepts given upstream downstream they will they are trying to ask you find the speed of the boat a speed of the stream they will give speed of the boat upstream find the downstream speed like that they will they will change the bits around these concepts so if you understand this you can easily solve the boats and stream problems uh, upstream downstream are given then you we can find speed of the boat and speed of the stream uh, how we find that? This is how we found that. Hope you understand the formula. In our coming classes, we are going to do some practice examples on boats and streams. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.